Minister. With this, I support this bill, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, Vasan, sir. Honorable V. Vijay Sai Reddy ji. Thank you, Deputy Chairman, sir. Sir, I, on, um, I, on behalf of my party and my leader, Sri Vyas Jagan Mohan Reddy Garu, tries to support the bill. Sir, I'll, I would like to bring only three points to your kind consideration and to the consideration of the Honorable Minister, sir. Sir, the first point is, India's population has crossed 140 crores, which is more than a China population. And in China, there are about 80,000 theatres, and whereas in India, there is only 8,000 theatres. Therefore, there is every, it, there, there is, it is imperative on the part of the government to encourage the theatre construction by taking the appropriate measures, because cinema is the cheapest industry for any grassroots level worker, sir. And second point, which I would like to bring to your kind notice is, sir, sir, uh, after the certificate, censor board certificate is issued, what is certificate of censor board, sir? It means that it is perfectly in order. The act doesn't envisage or doesn't say anything about the immunity that is granted to the producer or to the director after the certificate is issued. Once the certificate is issued, it means that any criminal cases that are likely to be filed will, should have an immunity uh, for the director and producer, sir. And bill doesn't uh, uh, contain such provision, sir. And third point, sir, the last point, very important point, sir, which I would like the Honorable Minister to take note of it and you also, sir. Sir, the total cost of production of a movie, presuming that it is about uh, 400 crores Hindi film with top stardom, the big hero like Salman Khan will charge about 250 crores, which is about 70, 70 to 75 percent of the total production cost. Even though the cinema industry has got about 2 lakh workers, only the real beneficiaries are the heroes who are hardly in uh, 50 or 60 numbers in, the Indi in, the, in India. Therefore, my suggestion to the Honorable Minister is that there has to be an appropriate legislation to ensure that the benefits are distributed because they are charging from the grassroots uh, uh, people and from the villagers whose money, whose hard-earned money is uh, spent for uh, seeing the movie. Therefore, appropriate provisions have to be brought in to contain the remuneration or equitable distribution of the benefits for all the workers, because a hero alone cannot produce the movie. There are hundreds of workers who are, who are working daily, daily in and out uh, to produce a movie, sir. And, the, and apart from this, sir, one important future is, Anuragji, one important future is, hero's son will become hero. Hero's daughter will not become heroine. Why? You are, your good self is aware of the reason for that. Why hero son is only the handsome hero? Hero? No. There are so many handsome personalities in, this, in India. Why hero sons are becoming heroes? So this point also I, I, I request the Honorable Minister to take consideration of it. And then thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mani Sri Ajay Pratap Singh.